Today, we're going to talk about lines of symmetry. We're going to first start by looking at a red rectangle. But as you can see here, we also have a white square, a yellow triangle, and a green circle. But let's get back to that red rectangle. If you were to fold one corner of the rectangle to an opposite corner of the rectangle, would the two sides fit perfectly on top of one another? Not really, as you can see by the picture here. If instead of folding opposite corners towards each other, what if we folded the rectangle as shown here? Well, as you can see, the rectangle forms two sides that lay perfectly on top of one another. The line that separates the two equal sides is shown here. We call this a line of symmetry. What if we tried to fold the rectangle lengthwise as shown in this picture? Well, as you can see, the two sides lay perfectly on top of one another. We found another line of symmetry. As you can see by this picture, two lines of symmetry are shown. Number one is labeled horizontally, and number two is labeled vertically. So the red rectangle has two lines of symmetry. Let's move on to our next two-dimensional shape, a square. As you can see, if we fold opposite corners of the square, the two sides lay perfectly on top of one another. So we've already found one line of symmetry. This is our first line of symmetry. The line drawn here is where we folded the square. So we have found one line of symmetry taking two opposite corners of the square. Now as you can see here, we have taken the other two corners that we did not first use and folded them towards one another. These also form a line of symmetry. So we now have two lines of symmetry. Can we find any more? What if instead of folding corners towards one another, we simply folded the square in half, as shown here. Well, as you can see, this would also form another line of symmetry. One side of the square fits perfectly on top of the other. So as you can see, we have three lines of symmetry so far. Are there any more lines of symmetry? What if we folded the square along my finger, as shown here? Would this be another line of symmetry? It sure would, as you can see here, one side also lays flat on the other. We have now figured out that a square has one, two, three, four lines of symmetry. Let's move on to our next figure, the yellow triangle. I wonder how many lines of symmetry this triangle has. If we attempt to fold the triangle like this, does each side of the triangle lay perfectly on top of one another? I don't think so. How about this way? Not even close. Aha, uh -huh, I think I may have found a line of symmetry. If we fold these two corners towards one another, the two sides of the triangle lay perfectly flat on top of one another. This particular triangle has one line of symmetry. You have to be very careful with triangles, however. Some of them have zero lines of symmetry, and there's also a special type of triangle called an equilateral triangle which has three lines of symmetry. Let's take a look at our final two-dimensional figure, a circle. What if we fold the circle right in half? It almost looks like a taco shell. Each side lays perfectly on top of one another. I think we found the line of symmetry. So this is the first line of symmetry that we have found. If we fold it along the line, the two sides of the circle lay perfectly on top of one another. What if we fold the circle in half from a different location than we did the first time? As you can see here, the two sides still lay flat on top of one another, and they form a line of symmetry. So far, we have found two lines of symmetry. What if we folded the circle along the spaghetti noodle? Or what if we folded the circle along this other spaghetti noodle? These would also form lines of symmetry. If you folded the circle along any of the lines shown here, the two sides would lay perfectly flat on top of one another. If you tried to fold the circle along any of these lines shown here, the two sides of the circle would lay perfectly flat on top of one another. So each one of these lines is a line of symmetry. Circles are very unique. If we continue to draw lines like this on the picture shown here, we would find an infinite number of lines of symmetry. Infinite means the number could go on and on forever. I sure hope you've learned a lot about lines of symmetry. Thanks for watching.